Welcome back. You know what it is already? We're back doing uh, Fishmas. Day three, day four, I think. Day three? Yeah, day three. Uh, gotta finish some dad life stuff. Gotta finish up hanging up some uh, Christmas lights. I started a couple days ago. You'll see a video for that. Uh, yeah, but I never got around to finishing because I've been so busy. Gonna finish doing this now. Show you the process where I'm at. Somebody got the grill going. But in the middle, hanging those. I got some on the trees here, and I got some on the, on the roof. So, let me finish doing this and plug some in. Uh, yeah. Well, we're done for the night because I got the power outlets backwards. I only have two outlets outside, one by my front door and one over here in my garage. So, yeah. I know it's here somewhere. Just had it. I got stuff all over the place. A little boy was playing with the ears. Oh, bam, right there. We are talking. My hands all ashy. We're talking swim baits, glide baits. All right, what's happening, folks? We got to make it quick. I'm tired. I'm hungry, and I got a whole bunch of stuff to do. I feel like there's not enough. Uh, there's not enough hours in a day. Uh, went to work. I feel like I'm getting sick. My throat's on fire, and. Uh, I'm talking about fishing, I'm talking about all these baits, but I'm not going fishing, so it's kind of, it's real frustrating, you know? But uh, yeah, today it's all about the swim bait. Getting focused here. This uh, is a glide bait, of Savage Gear. Like when swim baits first came out here in Texas, I was like all about it, but I had like such bad luck, and I'm the type of fisherman where I couldn't just devote the, the whole day to go out there just to throw in this thing. Uh, slowly over time, I've gotten better at it. Specific targets, when to throw it, all that stuff. For some reason, when I throw this bait, the only fish that seem to like it are two pounders and alligator gar. I haven't caught anything real big on it. You can see some of the teeth marks that I got on it. That side and that side. So awesome, awesome bait. I think this one sells for, I want to say either 19 bucks or 24 bucks. And uh, there's always like specific conditions when you should be throwing these things. You just don't want to go out to open water and be chunking it at nothing. I don't know, just look for different, my experience. I don't know, like I said, I'm not the swim bait king. I kind of suck at throwing these things, but I get better over time. And I notice like, I notice like little patterns of like when fish are like darting out to hit it or when the best time that I, every time I've thrown it, when fish have like attacked it. And uh, it's been like one specific time I was down at a lake, a long roadbed had grass on both sides. And I was just, you know, going right down the roadbed. So I threw it out far as I can. And I was just whew, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I would watch fish dart out, hit it, smack it, but they wouldn't commit to it. So I would, you know, dart it, let it sit. One twitch, and all of a sudden, after I learned that I was letting it sit for a minute, they had time to look at it, like it was injured or something, it clicked in my head, they would attack it. And that's when they got hit by a big alligator guard. I'm surprised I even got the bait back. Um, but yeah, there's always a time and place for uh, swim baits, man. And my advice, if you're new to swim baits, like I said, just get out and throw it. Um, Throw it at different stuff. Don't be afraid to put it around cover, your boat docks, your, your boat slips. What else do we have? Rocks, you know, the dam, all that. Just don't be afraid to throw it. You're gonna lose some. And that's why I prefer the cheaper ones. Start out with the cheap ones. Even though they're cheap, they still put out a lot of action. They still fish pretty good. Um, I have yet to make that jump to the high-end ones because I'm still getting comfortable throwing these cheaper ones. I've got some pretty crazy ones. I got some big soft plastic ones, but, uh. As of late, I've been throwing these glide baits. And I have this one and some more in like uh, the big gizzard shad pattern. I forget what these are called. It's like a ghost hologram type color on this one. But uh, if you're in an area with clear water, it's, it's like almost having like a fish finder on the water because you can watch the bait and watch fish just like come out and figure out what's going on, asking them, asking them. You can watch fish come out and kind of look at it and uh, kind of inspect your bait let you know there's fish in the area. And if they're not willing to commit, hit this, you can take out a worm or jig or a crankbait or something to get them to bite. 
So it's a good search tool and it's also just a good bait overall for, for learning the, the, the different types of fish in your lake and what they like to hit and cover. You can go on and on about swim baiting. But uh, it's just another technique to have in your arsenal. Something to learn, pick up. Don't be scared to use it. There's a time and a place for it. I've learned that. Uh, so don't be in a tournament trying to swing for the fences unless you go practice and you understand like, hey, I need to be throwing this right now. Just don't pick it up and throw it. I've learned the hard way and zeroed and skunked to doing that. But uh, I mean, there are all days. It might happen for some people. It might happen for, I don't know, but it didn't happen for me. But um, yeah, swim bait. Savage gear. I think this is a, uh, I don't know the exact name. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But uh, just Savage Gear, I think called it S Glide, something, I don't know. I know it's a glide bait from Savage Gear, 19 bucks or 24 bucks. I think I got it on sale from Tackle Warehouse. But uh, yeah, don't be scared to throw these. A lot of fun, they'll teach you a lot. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go finish these uh, Christmas lights and organize the garage real quick and eat dinner. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another one. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah